If you're thinking about adding the auto bed leveling feature to your 3D printer, you're going to need a probe which can accurately measure the distance to the print bed at various test points. One such probe is the inductive sensor. The inductive sensor works by sensing a change in the electromagnetic field emitted from its tip. When this field comes close to a metallic object, such as an aluminium print build surface, the amplitude of the field changes. This change is sensed by the internal circuitry which triggers the output sense wire. When purchasing an inductive sensor for your 3D printer, there are two common types to choose from, NPN and PNP. Each type also having either a normally open or normally closed switch output. These options can make choosing an inductive probe confusing, especially when NPN PNP is terminology used to describe a transistor and normally open normally closed is terminology used to describe a relay switch position. In my opinion it doesn't matter which probe you choose as we can change the end stop trigger behavior in firmware. What I believe is important is if your probe works at 5 volts. These probes have a working voltage range between 6 and 36 volts DC. That means we can't simply plug them into our electronics as we only supply 5 volts. Therefore you'd need to power the probe directly from a 12 volt source which means the output sense wire will also give 12 volts. In this case we can't plug this output directly into our electronics as 12 volts will fry the input of the Arduino board. We would need to step down the voltage using a two resistor divider or a diode in reverse. Both methods will isolate our electronics from the 12 volts. However, there are some probes which do work at 5 volts. This PNP sensor does work at 5 volts, while this NPN sensor doesn't. Both of these purchased from Banggood. And reading various forums, it seems to be random if your sensor will work at 5 volts or not. I purchased two of these PNP probes and they both work at 5 volts. Plus comments left on the Banggood item page also mentioned they work at 5 volts. So it's a good bet that this is the one to buy. These sensors also stipulate a detection distance for triggering the output, usually in the millimetre range. A common detection distance is 4 millimetres. However, the rated distance is when sensing iron. In a 3D printer, we are sensing aluminium. According to the data sheet, the sensitivity is reduced to 40% when sensing aluminium. So for a 4mm rated probe sensing an aluminium bed, the detection distance is 1.6mm. But let's take a deeper look. Let's probe, no pun intended, these probes using the multimeter and see what the sense wire is telling us when there is metal detected on the probe. Here we have the PNP probe hooked up directly to 5 volts. I have the multimeter set to voltage DC on the automatic range. As you can see, it's reading virtually 0 volts. I have the negative probe of the multimeter hooked up to the negative of the power supply. I have the brown wire hooked up to the positive supply, the blue wire hooked up to the negative, and our sense wire is actually this black wire here coming out of the probe. So to start with, I'll show you the uh, voltage supply. We're looking at 5 volts here. Okay, so we're looking at 5 volts on the positive rail, and now when we probe the sense output, so there's, not, there's no metal at the front here, the, the LED's not on, let's see what we get. We're getting 0 volts, so that's basically ground. Now let's place a metallic object uh, in front of the probe and see what we get. You can see the light is now on the probe and we're getting 4.43 volts on the, mul on the multimeter. Now these are transistor switches, so we're looking at a, a diode voltage drop across the, across the switch. That's why we're losing about 0.6 of a volt here. But 4.4 volts is still classified as a logic high on the Arduino. So this sensor here works at 5 volts. The LED is nice and bright. I'll show you that now so you get a good look at how bright that the LED is. And we can also take a look at the sensor output when this probe isn't activated. So rather than measuring voltage across the sensor output, let's move the multimeter across to the ohms range and see what we get. So we're measuring resistance now, and as you can see, we've got 10k ohms. So the probe, when it's not engaged, is actually pulling down the input to ground. That's good. 
In Marlin, in the configuration.h file, for this PNP inductive probe, we don't need to worry about enabling the pull-up resistor inside the Arduino, as there's already a 10k pull-down resistor inside the probe. However, I've tried both ways. Uh, the probe will work if the pull-up resistor is enabled. What you must check is the logic inverting. As we go high when it sees metal, we don't want to invert the logic, so this is set to false. However, if you have the normally closed version of the inductive probe, then the logic is inverted and you would have to set this to true. So I've switched over the probe to the NPN probe. This is the one that I've been using for a few months and I know for a fact it does not work on 5 volts. So at first I'll show you how this probe behaves when it doesn't work on 5 volts. So again, I'll just measure the input voltage here. So we are looking at 5 volts. I'll measure the output sense wire from the probe when it's not detecting any metal to see what it's telling us. And look, it's 5 volts. So by default, when it's not measuring any uh, metallic object, it's sending a logic high. Now let's move a metallic object to the probe and see what happens. You'll see it's trying to reduce the voltage down to ground but it just doesn't have enough juice to do it so it's still uh, well and truly above uh, the threshold voltage so it's still going to sense a voltage high. And just showing you the brightness of the LED it's very dim when we uh, sense a metallic object. So you see that, you can see that in the camera, it's a lot brighter in the camera than it, than it is in real life, but um, it's definitely dimmer than the probe that works at 5 volts. Okay, for our next test, I've increased the voltage input to approximately 12 volts, and we'll see the behaviour of this NPN probe which didn't work at 5 volts. So again, I'll just measure the supply voltage to show you that it is a lot higher. So we're looking at about 11.46 uh, volts as the input. We'll measure the output sense wire without a metallic object uh, near the probe. So we're getting the exact same voltage from the supply on the output. Now we'll move a metallic object to the probe and see what happens. Look at that, the voltage has dropped to 0.67 volts. And again, that 0.6 odd volts is the diode drop within the transistor. But 0.67 volts is still well within the logic low range of the Arduino, which is approximately 1.5 volts. So that will be sensed as a, a logic change when a metallic object comes close to this probe. And to show you again how bright that LED is, so I'll place a metal object close to it, and you'll see how much brighter that is. So straight away you can tell, even just by the brightness of the LED, if your probe is going to work or not at 5, at five volts. So if you're going to use a probe with more than 5 volts, you need to use a voltage divider or some other method to reduce the voltage coming out of the probe. Because if we just connect 12 volts directly to the Arduino or RAMS board, it's going to fry the input to the Atmega CPU. So the first thing we'll try is this simple voltage divider. There are just two resistors here between the signal output and ground. They are a 10 and 15k resistor. And as we know, when there's no metallic object here, it's logic high. So let's now probe in between these two resistors and see what voltage we get on the multimeter. 4.9 volts. Fantastic. That is a high voltage which won't fry the input to our Arduino Mega. And of course, you'd need to wire that into uh, some form of connector. And I've, I've just been using this to plug into the uh, N-stop, minimum Z-N-stop for the NPN probe. And here's the other method to protect the electronics from the 12 volt signal coming out of the sense wire. We can use a diode in reverse. That is, we're setting the diode in this direction, so the black bar is down here actually facing the high voltage, and we're plugging this side into the Arduino input. Well, what is that going to do? Well, as we know, if we probe this side of the diode, we're getting the full 11.4 uh, volts from the source. But if we probe this side of the diode, we're getting basically nothing. So it's going to protect the electronics. But what happens when we uh, ground the probe? So I'll activate this probe now, get that, uh, get that going. So now when we probe this side of the diode, we've got 0.6 volts, which is the transistor voltage drop from the probe. But that means electricity is now allowed, or current is now allowed to flow in this direction. So what we set up on the Arduino is the pull-up resistor. When the pull-up resistor is active and this side is low, current and voltage is allowed to flow. 
therefore it sees this as a ground because this side will be at 5 volts and this side is only at 0.6 so it will register this side as a logic low. When the probe is not engaged and this side is high the 5 volts is at a lower voltage than the 11 volts over here so there is no voltage and current flowing therefore it's seen as the pull up resistor is still active so it's a logic high. For the NPN probe we do need to define the pull up resistor for the Z minimum input and we also need to set the inverting logic to true for Z minimum as a high signal is no metal and a low signal or a ground is uh, conducting metal. However if you're using the normally closed version of the probe then you would set this to false. When testing the inductive probe you can use the g-code command M119 to check the status of the end stops. By default the end stop should be open if it's not sensing metal and it should be triggered if it is sensing metal. So based on the two tests performed between the PNP sensor I have here which does work at 5 volts and the NPN sensor here which does not work at 5 volts depends on how you wire these up into the ramps board. As we can use 5 volts here, I've simply wired up a 3 connector DuPont straight to this. So positive on the left, negative in the center, and the sensor on the right. Clean, easy installation. This one over here, which requires a higher voltage, you're going to need to wire out uh, 12 volts to the brown and blue wires, and then set up some form of either voltage divider to drop the output voltage from the sensor using two resistors or using the diode in reverse out of the sense wire to protect your electronics. So obviously it's much easier to set up a uh, inductive probe if it works on 5 volts.